Hey everyone, I'm back again, this time with a video about the introductory terminology that is used in osteology, which is the study of bones. I will also discuss some of the things we can learn from our bones. The human adult skeleton consists of 206 bones. The axial skeleton makes up 80 of those bones, and the appendicular skeleton is the remaining 126 bones. The axial skeleton includes the facial and cranial bones, the hyoid bone, vertebrae, ribs, and sternum. The appendicular skeleton includes the clavicle, scapula, humerus, radius, ulna, metacarpals, pelvis, femur, patella, fibula, tibia, and metatarsals. Now there are different types of bones. There are long bones, like the humerus, radius, femur, and tibia, and there are short bones, like the carpals and tarsals. Bones can be described as flat, like the ribs, bones of the skull and scapula, or irregular, like the vertebrae and mandible. So bones perform various functions, like protecting internal tissues and organs, they support the body and provide a surface for muscle, ligament, and tendon attachment. They also produce red blood cells and store 99% of the body's calcium. 99%! A typical long bone, like the femur, has a main shaft known as the diaphysis. As you can see here, this is the longer portion of the bone, and an end referred to as the epiphysis. The periosteum is like a tough membrane that surrounds the bone, and even deeper is the compact bone that we see here. And even farther, we have the cancellous bone, which is porous and sometimes called spongy bone. The epiphyseal plate, known as the growth plate, is replaced by the epiphyseal line in adulthood, as shown here. Now, a person's age, sex, and race are all variables that can affect bone mass and bone loss. For example, men usually have denser bones than women. Well, as previously mentioned, biological factors like age, sex, and ancestry can be determined using bones. Additional things like stature, assessment of trauma that occurs anti- peri, and post-mortem can all be uncovered by a forensic anthropologist. Teeth are a great indicator of the age of death because they can withstand heat that can burn human bones. Also, teeth tell us about the diet and stresses of a person's lifestyle. Pretty cool. There are a few ways to assess the possible ancestry of the decedent. Facial bones are usually the top method but other bones can also be indicators of ancestry. Stature determination comes from measurements obtained by the available long bones and is used in a mathematical formula to get a range. Not a specific height, but a range of height. So now you can understand the importance of forensic anthropologists and how their skills can be used in a legal, forensic, and archeological setting. Take care of your bones, everybody.